I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming Hey guys, what's up? Back again for the first time in a while, taking an adventure up in the Los Padres National Forest to 4 by 4 ing up uh, Tassajara Road to get to China Camp. <laughs> and I've heard a lot of good and a lot of bad things about China Camp, so... We'll see how it goes. Just thought I'd do a little intro while I'm stuck in traffic on Highway 1, going through the beautiful fields of Monterey.
about right here I started hearing gunshots. This is the first camp on Tassajara Road called White Oaks. Actually, a week after I got the truck, a buddy and I came up here. Uh, we only made it up to this part of the road because there was snow on the ground further and then I uh, didn't feel like getting my brand new truck stuck. Toward the center of the screen is a little deer in the road up there. I know it looks like I'm not slowing down for it, but I did. And let the little guy pass, jump off over to the right. sunset over these peaks was absolutely awesome and I should have stopped and got out and taken some pictures but I was just trying to get to camp because the sun was setting fast and I was trying to avoid setting up in the dark. And 
I've seen other videos that uh, China Camp was over the ridge as you're coming down the back side of the hill and the entrance veers off to the right. So I'm glad I watched the YouTube video on um, the entrance first because obviously that sign doesn't do much good. As you drive into the campground, it's all basically on a hill. You go down and off to the right, there's some parking for some hiking spots. I don't know, maybe there's like 15 sites. And this being Father's Day weekend, I was surprised that uh, there was hardly anybody up here. Trying to find the spot was a super challenge. They're not marked. There's no logical way these campsites are, are set up. I was able to see one off to the left there. It was marked one and two. But as I pulled up to my site, I'm like, I'm hoping this is three and there's not many places to park. Got the truck. Really cool to revisit this. I was having so much fun driving it that I didn't get here until after dark and I was setting up the truck tent, setting up camp in the dark, but I've got a nice little fire going and I don't know if you can see the truck tent. There it is. Set that bitch up in the dark and it was fun. <laughs> now I'm just going to... I was tired after setting everything up. It's just gonna be a ramen night, I guess. Boil some water. I wonder how that's going. Almost there. Do jet boil, maybe. I never understood those, but now I'm starting to. And I got some peppers and onions that I'm just gonna throw into that ramen, spice it up a little bit. Just been snacking and a little bit of coffee kick whiskey. Oh, I didn't want to film setting up camp. It was just getting too ridiculous that it was getting so late. So I just set everything up and I'm sure tomorrow will be a good day. Hoping to maybe get a run in and there's a lot of trails around here, a lot of hiking trails. People backpack up to this campground. It's so crazy. Hopefully I got the footage. <laughs> the sign for the campground was torn down and thrown to the side of the road. But luckily I saw the video that I remembered where the turnoff was for the China Camp campground. But I'm surprised they even charge for this campground. But um, yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge, but now just enjoying the night. Dude, dollar store ramen. You fucking can't go wrong. You don't know what this is, but it's 
opening up. Maybe that's some, uh, who knows? Let's tear it off. Dude, I'm kind of psyched about this. I haven't eaten ramen. Holy shit, that's spicy. Mm. Ramen. <clears throat> Dinner of champions. Actually, it's not that bad. Oh yeah, the obligatory morning opening. <laughs> Tent shot. <laughs> so here's the truck bed tent. <laughs> don't think I did too bad for setting it up in the dark. I'm going to tweak it a little more. It was pretty spacious. I didn't want to blow up the air mattress. I was, got here too late. Screwing around on the 4 by 4 ring. So I laid down a blanket and my sleeping bag. And the towel I used as a pillow. I was too lazy to go get my sweatshirt. I slept all right. I can't say I had the best sleep, but it was good. I feel rested. It's about six o'clock. Gonna make some coffee and check out the trails around here. China Camp. The whole campground is on a slant. The picnic table is crooked and I spilt my water twice just trying to boil water. So don't take campsite three. Maybe one of those over there at four or five. I'm gonna check it out over there too. But it's quiet and it's off the grid. This is the entrance to the Pine Ridge Trail. Just a few steps up Tassajar Road from the from China Camp. And I was able to run this trail for a while until it got too sketchy. And I wasn't sure if it was going to loop around back to Tassajara. So I turned around about a mile or two in and ran back out to Tassajara and decided to just run to the peak of Tassajara Road.
my view for the majority of my run. <laughs> so beautiful. I can't believe I've lived in Santa Cruz for 20, 25 years. Since 1999, be 25 years. And this is the first time I've been up here. week I did a nine and a half mile run but when you're running trails it's way more difficult like I feel like I'm getting more of a workout than I did last week doing a nine and a half mile road run All right. so beautiful up here And then tomorrow I'll try and get back into cell reception so I can wish Dad a happy Father's Day and all you other fathers out there. Alright. Let's head down. Probably be a little quicker back. But that hike I went on at the Pine Ridge. Uh yeah. It's just straight up from China Camp, but uh, if you have vertigo or you're scared of heights, I would not recommend that trail. One false slip, one tumble, and you're going down over the ridge. <laughs> I talked to some hikers out there. Supposedly, there is a loop that loops around and comes back out on Tassajara Road, but I, it started getting super sketchy, super thick. Super I sweat up a storm on that run, so <laughs> I'm glad I brought this little camp shower thing. There's, there's no running water at China Camp, so bring your own water. Ray gun. As I promised, let me give you a tour. Feels good after that run. I just drink a beer and took a little camp shower. <laughs> it's kind of cold, but um, it's warming up now. So here, I call this kind of dispersed campings, but um, you know, we got a fire ring and stuff and a barbecue but this campsite's kind of scary you got some bullet holes and new garbage cans here and I'll uh, give you a tour of the outhouses that's about all the amenities we got in my review of this campsite It's just all on a on a hill. Here my mic didn't connect with my phone. So yeah, it's twenty bucks a night to camp here. Which is kind of funny. And I don't think they care too much about uh, any outhouse upkeep here. The door was clearly ripped off or maybe it fell off and nobody decided to fix it. 
So we had one outhouse, and I unfortunately had to partake a couple times. This is the road you come in on on China Camp. You take that right off Tassajara and then um, drive down the hill to the to the campground. I just wanted to walk out here and check out where the sign used to be. <laughs> and where it is now. You know, maybe make an effort and just kind of put it in the dirt, standing up straight so that people might be able to <clears throat> find the campground. I don't know. Yeah, my mic totally wasn't working. and It's gonna work. Alright. Come on, baby. You got this. On the menu tonight are steak sandwiches. This is the only seasoning I could find in my chuck box. <laughs> some Gouda cheese, some avocado, maybe finish it off with some sriracha. Sriracha. And see how these uh, instant mashed potatoes go with it. And fun fact, I was vegetarian for 17 years, so now I'm a meat-eating carnivore. Make America juicy again. It's all about the juice, baby. dove into the mashed potatoes they're so good not bad it's important to get off the grid reset recharge put everything into perspective and come back with a new approach on Monday and you just hang out by the fire The world seems okay. Like this, burritos. And wait. There's more. I don't know, there's just something about black beans and eggs. It's really good. Defining this hot sauce is unbelievably hot. If you're looking for a good hot sauce, this Melinda's fire roasted garlic and habanero. Check it out. All right. Some brekkie.
overall, I'd say this is a pretty successful trip. Close enough to be convenient and far enough to get away off the grid. And if you made it this far, <laughs> thanks so much. Please like and subscribe.